So hello everybody, welcome to today's webinar, which is called all the most interesting and updated in the world of Skywalk community. So you are welcome. And hello everybody for those who will uh, watch this in recordings and uh, welcome everybody who is online today so we can interact with each other. And uh, these webinars are based on the webinars of Skyworld Communities Board member Alexei Sukhadoev. And uh, I, myself, I am Leonid Rahmanov. I'm a business assistant of Alexei Sukhadoev and investor in this project since 2017. I have partners from 11 countries, so Philippines, Korea, Uzbekistan, Guyana, South Africa, Karo Pakistan, Ethiopia. And also I'm a certified trainer of Skyworld Communities Major League. And uh, before I worked, uh, before I started working here as a partner, I was a mnemonics trainer. So I entered Memory League World Top Ranking 120. And also I can speak five languages. So let's start today's webinar. Uh, and as usual, I start webinars with this um, comparison of uh, two companies because some new partners still don't know the difference between Unitsky String Technologies and Skywalk Community. That's why uh, I will briefly introduce this information. So Unitsky String Technologies is an international engineering company engaged in the design, construction, and certification of high-speed urban and freight transport systems. And Skyworld Community is an international venture capital platform that attracts investment in Unitsky String Technologies and shares are formalized through a convertible loan scheme. So you see, uh, what are the companies? And actually, um, on the previous webinar, we were speaking about uh, new rebranding of Skyworld Community. And I also told you about rebranding of Unitsky String Technologies, which was held uh, before and why it was. And now uh, the rebranding was of Skyworld Community and transformation of its brand book. So last time we also discussed it. And actually I wanted also show you one thing. So uh, if you remember, if you participated on previous webinars, we were speaking about three basics of Skyworld Community. So what are they? And three colors also were like chosen for these. So blue color is financial and investment side, yeah, base of uh, Skyworld community. So IT, the website, uh, your online personal account. And uh, sorry, I had some disruption. So uh, and Violet color is educational side. So the platform, as far as I know, the educational platform is under the development and now is being developed in Skyworld community. And the third is social side, so green color. And it also refers to uh, ecologic because we supporting ecologically friendly uh, project, yeah, as you know. So these three basics of Skyworld community were like, um, are, were discovered, like, how can I say so, were uh, described. And now I wanted to show you how it was in practice, the development of these uh, basics and spheres, actually, uh, so here. So, uh, so Alexei Suhadoev, so, I mentioned him yeah, and this webinar is based on his uh, webinars. So he already visited several countries uh, for helping the development of Skyworld communities there. For example, in Kyrgyzstan, he was there in uh, during two weeks. And during this short time, he already uh, held three conferences and in three regions. And in each of them was more than 150 people. And in one of them was 350 people. And also he held meetings with government officials, with potential investors and spontaneous participation in the Russian Kyrgyzstan uh, forum. 
so which was about strategic sessions with key market leaders and also optimization ah okay i see in the chat you are not audible on youtube uh chopra rahul is writing yeah i have written to our specialist i don't know what he has answered because now i'm on the webinar okay so that's why i try to use miropolis and maybe those will see the recording on another our youtube channel which is called webinars of sky world community so anyway i'm glad to see you here miss chopra and here <laughs> you can hear me so and also new mm, how to say updates was to adaptation and training platform of Skyworld community were introduced uh, in terms of national priorities and peculiarities. And recently there was like recording of speech of leaders in these countries. So with their topics, because they are, for example, there are experts who know uh, good uh, fin financial intelligence. Yeah, how to use money wisely and uh, some other experts held speech of the difference between uh, our partnership program and network marketing so it would it will also be on the platform in kyrgyz language so as i mentioned in previous webinars so the development of educational platform in each language group is not just translation it is adapting to the mentality of this region because for example people from uh, african countries they have such a uh, kind of uh, mentality people from latin america they has another and that's why and different needs and that's why it will be adapted to each category and each region so a strategy and program for the development of the market of kyrgyzstan as well as its entire community was outlined in the logic of sky world community so here you can see some pictures and also in uh, dominican republic so alexei sohadoev was uh, there and as you know the winners of the second stage of sky world communities champions challenge uh, there was a prize to visit it mm -hmm and for gold winners yeah of the second stage and alexey suhatoev as a board member was there and also besides of uh speaking with leaders and helping them development they also he also for this just short period of one and a half weeks uh meetings were made with a successful results for further transfer of proceeded information to ust with large developers and also a number of entrepreneurs interested in investing so there was lots of discussions and uh, potential projects in Dominican Republic so uh, and that's why development strategy and plans have been outlined for a number of countries in Latin America not just Dominican Republic but also in the uh, whole Latin America in different countries so uh, I see there is no point of giving presentation. Nobody is able to hear you. Okay. Rahul Chopra is writing. So actually, that's why I try to participate in Miropolis. I will send the link, but I don't know. Will it work? Yeah, that specialist answer that he will check. So I, I wish sound will be hmm, set on YouTube now as well. So. And besides of these discussions and these potential projects, the first official large conference was held in the Dominican Republic and more than 150 people uh, participated there. And also spontaneous charity event from Skyworld community happened. So for children's, uh, because as you know, uh, a leader in and Dominican Republic, he is a United Nations member and he organized this charity event there and Alexei Suhadov also participated in it. And also uh, updates were um, done to adaptation and training platform there too, according to Latin Americans needs and feedbacks. And also uh, Olga Veronica became an ambassador of 
Dominican Republic. As you know, for example, Christian Wanden Weaver uh, was first ambassador in Skyworld community and he is ambassador in Nigeria, yeah? And helping to develop this region, this country, uh, and helping partners and investors there. So, and also, uh, there was participation in more than five TV shows on various channels, including the largest uh, TV channels. So, and first of all, so you can see some pictures. I will list them also. So you see different, uh, yeah. And these are marketing activities which are free for the company because of the leaders of the region. So they promoted it and they helped to uh, go to these TV shows. And uh, that's not, uh, these channels are not working on just Dominican Republic, but in other countries too, in Latin America. And also even journalists and presenters themselves of these TV shows become interested in and involved in the sky world community yeah and become participants of it even some of them so and the final one so was one of the biggest and their gold winners of sky world communities channels also had their speech and they uh, shared their impressions thoughts and as uh, Alexis Hadoev told, so it was very impressive and it was, he was very glad to hear their speech because each of them are unique and has its own charisma and um, how to say the way of thinking and speaking. Yeah. So, and also Recently, there was the fifth anniversary International Scientific and Technical Conference on Non-Rocket Industrialization of Near Space, which was held in Belarus and in the United Arab Emirates. And more than 100 people participated there, so including organizations from Russia, UIA, uh, Great Britain. Yeah, so you can see on the slide. And there was discussed how people can, uh, in a non-rocket way, industrialize uh, the space, the near space. And as Anatoly Yunitsky said, I will read his quotation. So we need to start thinking and acting on a cosmic scale. By the middle of the 21st century, a large scale industrialization of near space should be carried out because the resources of the solar system are sufficient to satisfy all the technological needs of mankind for millions of years to come. Before it is too late, it is necessary to choose the biospheric path of sustainable development of our techno technogenic civilization in the logic like Earth is for life and space is for industry. And our conference is a unique platform where in the form of an open, lively dialogue, we have the opportunity to discuss and develop solutions to the uh, tectonic change that are uh, currently taking place in the world. Uh, Chopra Rahul is writing, I'm really excited for the Spaceway project as well. It would be great if you can tell when will the recording of the conference uh, recording would come out. You mean the recording of this uh, non-rocket industrialization conference, Chopra Rahu? Yes. Uh, actually, I can tell you the exact uh, date because I don't know it. Just uh, keep in touch and follow the YouTube channels of Skyworld Community and Unitsky String Technologies and Anatoly Unitsky himself. And there it will be published or there will be published where you can find this recording. So. Okay, uh, you're welcome. So, and he also said another thing about uh, our ecology now. So the anthropogenic oppression of the biosphere and the depletion of natural resources and reaching such a level before our eyes that while maintaining the current rates of the growth and development of the technosphere, we risk passing on to our descendants a lifeless desert, 
and suitable for existence. So the eco, eco world program requires significant in significant intellectual, financial and material costs, but I am convinced that it is necessary to invest in what will preserve our technocratic earthly civilization in our nature, in our children and grandchildren. Together, we will be able to convey to the public the importance and urgent need to revise the deep rooted foundations and finally take real steps to transition to the biospheric path of development. And actually, if you still haven't heard about U-Space program, so just uh, watch on YouTube of Anatoly Yunitsky, his video about U-Space program and how it is working. And you will see that without any like emissions, uh, like rockets do and harm to ecology, and it is not efficient because lots of fuel is needed to uh, deliver a small, things yeah to the space and here even large industries could be uh, gone there yeah without non-rocket way and in more efficient ways so just search you space there so and actually so uh where is my presentation so you need see he is engineer and visionary of the string transport project and now it is not just string transport on the earth as you see it has plans for more future and vision so to go to space and actually last time we were speaking about how it was like imagined and visualized in computer and how it now became on in reality and i want to show you it one more time so here you can see like it was in computer. Yeah. And now you can see how it is going on in reality, the progress of construction. And here you see the reality, all like in, it was in computer. Yeah. But now we can see it with our own eyes. And actually, you know, uh, the strings are being now installed there. The process is going and you can uh, see the news, how it is going and being updated and developed. So here you can see it is just near the CSTRAI uh, center yeah, in Shadra. So more visitors can see it. And it was like specially designed, like it, it is a continuation of this building you see. And, but the, these two buildings are stations yeah, and depots. So where is like yeah, and that's why the model of string transport was also install, installed there in this park. And here you can see like it is an oasis inside the desert. Eco house. So green place inside the desert. And last time we discussed about new exhibitions like in the trance and actually why it is important to exhibit. So if you didn't see the recording of previous webinar, so you can see it on YouTube. So just uh, search for Skywalk Community Webinars and you can find it there. And actually there are webinars of other speakers as well and other languages too. And also we discussed that uh, now not just the project is going to exhibitions, but exhibitions come to hear about the project, to invite the project to participate in their exhibitions like Mobility Life Middle East, yeah? Representatives of this exhibition visited it. And actually lots of delegations also visited during this time. I will not list them here. Uh, and last time we discussed about Korea, for example. And actually recently the new language was added to the online personal office of Skywalk community. So Korean language now available there. And last time we also discussed current world situation. Um, here are some pictures when Alexei Suhadov participated in this conference, which I mentioned on previous slides. And now also my congratulations. On previous, on previous uh, webinar, I was announced that I was announcing that 
we will move to the next substage and now the project already moved so the stream transport project already moved to the new substage so 14.3 and skywall community champions challenge is still ongoing so you still have the chance to participate in it and get great rewards so so for example bronze winners just the first level uh, which you can achieve so and also the silver level and gold level they each has different rewards so you still have the chance because about 20 days left to participate in it so you can manage just uh, look at your online personal account how many points you already have and how many points you need to have more to get these rewards yeah so just a second slides and uh, also new course recently started it is about public speaking and the art of self-presentation for our partners and investors so it is about how to speak confidently to an audience of 10 and even 10,000 people so first group already started and you can just keep up to date uh, and wait when new group will start and you can also participate in it. Maybe some of you, maybe or some participants of this webinar already there and already started learning. So my congratulations. And actually, this also this course started in two languages, so in English and in Russian. And we have certified trainers and speakers there and mentors, special mentors, which will help the students to achieve results to improve their homework to do their uh, speech even better and better so wait for updates when new uh, new groups will start and you can also participate and other languages also will be available soon and also uh, you also could read some news that uh, UNISCO stream technologies and ITC Indonesia so International Transport uh, System Indonesia have signed an agreement for the development of UNISCO string technology in the capital of Indonesia. So the elevated UST track with a length of about eight kilometers will be proposed uh, in one of the districts of Jakarta. And it take actually now, for example, if we um, get, for example, like by car, this route, it takes 25 minutes and if by bus 50 minutes but with the Unitsky stream transport will carry the passengers in just three minutes just compare 50 minutes and only three minutes you see the difference and actually this route inside the city and we are not speaking that this project can be built anywhere, even mountains, forest, desert, oceans, easily in the place where other types of transport cannot be built or built with lots of exp expensive uh, things. But here, it is uh, it could be done anywhere, yeah. And this why it is so, uh, yeah. Why the bus takes 50 minutes, but so UNISCO string te technologies transport will take three minutes because this is possible thanks to the string rail overpass which will be located above the city infrastructure and will follow the shortest possible path and in addition the location of the track above the ground will avoid congestions yeah, and traffic jams so that's why it is also being done the development in Indonesia so let's wait for updates, how it will be there. And so actually it is all for today and some pictures from a recent event from Kyrgyzstan. And last time I uh, has shown you the video from our trip. So I have some questions here. Wow, 
B question. <laughs> uh, Chopra Rahul is writing. Feel free to answer at the end of the session if you can. Okay, I will just move for this part now. So uh, just move these pictures and we will come to the part of questions. So some pictures when we visited the center ourselves and tried this transport and I saw it was with my own eyes and touched with my own hands and sat inside, tried. So questions, and I see questions. So Chopra Rahul is writing, feel free to answer at the end of the session if you can. I have got a couple of questions regarding the shares of the company. So first, is it true that company might announce dividends next year? So uh, Chopra Rahul, I can tell you the exact answer. And as you know, dividends, uh, as you can see in official resources, there is written that dividends will be spread from the profit of the company after successful completion of 15 stages of construction. But maybe, I don't know, it depends on the decision of the company. Maybe they decide to do it earlier. But what I know in investment memorandum, it is written that 20% of companies profit will be divided among investors. So as dividends, let's wait. And uh, I know, so the company's management uh, is how to say smart and they will do it at the appropriate time. So second, how will the dividend be calculated as the face value of the share is $1 and the dividend is calculated on the face value, like 1% on 2% uh, of face value? No, uh, it is not calculated in face value. It cal it's calculated from the company's profit. So of year annual profit. So how much profit it received uh, during the year and 20% from it will be divided to dividends according to shares. So uh, as you know, there are two classes of shares and when you invest, you get shares which will bring dividends. And uh, that's why the amount of profit will be divided on the number of shares which are, um, how to say, um, are supposed to receive dividends and count it. And that's why depending on how many shares you have, so each year will have, when you just, when it will be calculated, so each year will have a certain amount of uh, dividends for each year, and you will just receive the amount of dividends according to the number of shares you have. It will multiply to the number. So that's why 20% of annual profit after the successful completion of 15 stages of construction. So third, and another news I heard from the average team, which is an investor in this technology said that the UST might stop giving shares after April. Actually, I don't know what average is telling. I'm at the phone of uh, Skywalt community. And actually, as you know, uh, Unitsky string technology is not working anymore from 2020 with Everage and Sweek. So those who managed to invest before this data, they became investor of the project. But those who invested after it, I don't know about this, but uh, with the string transfer, there is no connection now. That's why only two funds are through two funds uh, people can invest now Skywalt community and RSW fund. And I'm not sure about April and I didn't see any official information about it. So, and don't you think even if we, the face value is $1, the number of shares is 400 uh, billion. So just a second. So, and. Uh, so, and don't you think even if the face value is $1, the number of shares is 4 billion, 400 billion, and on listing the IPO would be worth $4 billion, which is mind boggling high. Is it really possible or am I doing the calculation wrong? So postscriptum, I'm in no rush for dividends or anything. I really want this technology to grow regardless. 
These are the questions that I come across when promoting the technology. Ah, okay, I see uh, Chopra Rahul. And thank you for your question and thank you for being active and thank you for understanding and being like loyal to the project and to the company. And actually answering to your fourth question about 400 billions of dollars, as you know, um, so maybe you don't know, but um, now I will tell you. So the intellectual property of Unitsky string technologies was like, mm, how to say, uh, I forgot this word because English is not my native language. <laughs> That's why I should remember some words. So it was calculated the intellectual property of this string transport technology, even uh, at the beginning of the project when it still hasn't started. And the uh, amount of money which was calculated, so how much worse the intellectual uh, property is more than 100 billions of dollars. And you can find this study in your online personal account as well of Skyworld community. Just enter to your account and there you can see documents. And if you press documents and documents about company, there you can find the assessment. Yeah, I, I remember this word, assessment. Assessment of the uh, intellectual property. And you can study it and see that it is more than 400 billions of dollars. And that's why the, the company Global Transport Investments, so which shares are gone to ERCCH fund, which you get when you invest. So uh, already worse than 400 billions of dollars. And that's why it was like uh, converted. So in terms of intellectual property, do you understand? It's not, it will not be worse when it go to IPO. Maybe it will worse even more at that time. I don't know. But now already intellectual property worth more than 400 billions of dollars. And according to this amount, 400 billions of shares were like, um, were created, yeah. So have I answered your question, Chopra Rahu? Yeah, I have read the whole memorandum. Great, yes. And the document which I was telling is not investment memorandum, it is about assessment. So you can study it as well. They're fully explained why it is worth so, yeah, and calculations. Yes, thanks a lot. You're welcome. And I was glad uh, to answer to your questions and maybe some questions in uh, YouTube. Let's see. Still no sound, Leonid. We waited for the presentation since the uh, start time. Unfortunately, no audio sound at all. Would you please upload a recording uh, with the sound so we can watch it later? Thank you in advance. Okay, thank you for your patience. And yes, it should be re uh, posted now. Translation, the Life is going on Skyworld Community English channel, but this recording from this Miropolis, from this virtual room, will be in uh, Skyworld Community webinars channel. So it will be posted there in a few days, maybe one, two, or three days, and our specialist will upload it there so you can see it with the sound there. So, if there are no questions now, so across the last question, the preferred shares are only 33% out of 100 billion shares, right? On which dividends are given? So, as far as I know, as information which I have and watched from Vladimir Maslov's webinars uh, in terms of jurisdictional, he said that uh, the, the shares which we get when invest throughout Skyworld community through convertible loan agreement and agreement, yeah. Uh, so we receive shares which uh, for which dividends will be given. So no worries. Okay, have I answered to your question? 
Yes, there are no questions now. So uh, I see some uh, things a lot. You were great. Uh, thank you for your feedback. I'm glad to hear this. And I'm glad to hear that you liked this webinar. And thank you all for participating today. And thank you for those who was on YouTube and didn't hear my sound, unfortunately. So actually together, we are creating the future and financing it. So thank you all for participating today and let's develop together and let's go to financial freedom together and improve the ecology of the earth together. Thank you all and see you on other meetings. Thank you and goodbye.